to my channel. My name is Lois and this is For Me It Works. If you've been following my channel for the past few months, you'll know that I'm in a series in which I do, which I use a single hair product brand for the entire month and then I come back to you at the end of the month and let you know how that brand worked for my hair. Well, here it is, October 30th, and I just finished my last wash day using the Aunt Jackie's products. So I figured it was time for me to come back and give you my overall opinion on how these products worked for my hair. Again, it's for my hair because as we all know, everybody's hair is different and what works for me may or may not work for you. But if you're interested in how these products worked on my hair, please continue to watch. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the video I posted earlier this month where I identified the brand I was using, I shared with you that I had won a $25 gift certificate from a new beauty supply store that had opened in my area. And with that $25 gift certificate, I purchased the majority of the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed um, Recipes collection to use sometime in the future. But then again, also in that video, you'll, you saw towards the end, I decided to go ahead and use it for October. So let's go ahead and get started. Now again, in that video, I started with the Flaxseed um, Recipe collection but at the end, I also shared with you the core collection products that I had. So since then, I actually went out and purchased that additional leave-in conditioner I had mentioned. And I purchased the Flaxseed Collection um, Edge Control. So I actually have the entire Aunt Jackie's Collection core and flaxseed recipe. That was not my intention, but as a product junkie... That's what happened sometimes. So for the cleansers, I use um, two different products from the Aunt Jackie's line. The first product I started with was the Purify Me. And this is from the um, Flaxseed Recipes Collection. It's a Purify Me Moisturizing Co-Wash Cleanser. And I've used this a couple of times throughout the month. Um, I've used co-washes before, and when, before I actually went natural, co-washing in my hair just did not get along. I tried different brands, different products, and co-washing and I just didn't get along. But since going natural, my hair loves co-washing, so I always get excited trying a new co-wash. This one was slightly different. Normally, when I, get a, when I use a co-wash, I get either I don't get a lather at all, or I get a fairly decent lather. This lather was more of a milky consistency, not so much a sudsy lather, but more of a milky, foamy consistency. I'm not saying there was anything wrong with it, it was just different. The first time I used it, I was thinking maybe I used too much. So the second time I went in using not as much, but I still got the same milky, foamy consistency. It still cleansed my hair, left my hair feeling soft, but not stripped. Um, so I did like this product. Is it a favorite co-wash? No, there are other co-washes I, I like more, but this is still a good co-wash in, in that it cleanses my hair um, without stripping it, without leaving it hard, or um, I, could, I, could easily, I could easily finger detangle while I was using it. So this is still a good co-wash, um, and I'm glad I tried it from the brand. Now... One thing I noticed about this brand, and I'm just going to put this out there, there was a time during the month I had a cold for like two weeks, and I was just, my schedule was just hectic, so I went like two weeks without cleansing my hair. So when I went to cleanse it after that two weeks, I was thinking, I don't want to try the co-wash because it's been two weeks since I've washed my hair, so I wanted a full-on shampoo. So that's when I went to, from the core line, the Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Moisturizing and Softening Shampoo thinking this would give me more of a cleanse than a co-wash. Because it's deep cleanse, excuse me, it claims to deep, deep moisturizing, detangling hair bath for chronically dry hair. Now my hair isn't dry, it wasn't dry, it was just because I'd been, it had been two weeks since I cleansed my hair, I thought maybe a shampoo would be better than a co-wash. Um, this again is a very thick co-wash and I didn't use my applicator method, I just used it straight from the bottle. I got a really good lather. Finger detangling what was not as easy as it was with the Purify Me. Between the two, my preference is the Purify Me. So this problem, I won't repurchase the Oso oh Clean. It worked, but my preference is the Purify Me. 
and there are other shampoos from other brands that I like better so this would not be a repurchase. Now after I cleanse I always deep condition and as I shared with you in the original video there was going to be two deep conditioners that I would rotate throughout the month of October from the Aunt Jackie's line. The first one being the Fix My Hair from the Flaxseed line and the second one being the In Control from the Core line. I never did go back and revisit the In Control. I used the Fix Me throughout the whole month. I will at some point in time go back and revisit um, the In Control but for October unfortunately I didn't. But I did get great use out of the Fix Me. I use this during each of the three shampoo days or wash days I had throughout the month. Um, the process is, was the same. I shampooed my hair, I sectioned it, I applied the deep conditioner of the Fix Me, Fix My Hair Intensive Repair Conditioning Mask, which has a um, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, so there is a protein in here. So it left my hair not just soft, not uber soft, but it was soft, but it also left it feeling strengthened. So I liked that I didn't have to use a secondary product for, to get the protein strengthening effect. So I was able to get both the softness and the protein from this one product. Again, I used it with my hot head for about 20 or 30 minutes, then rinsed it out. This product, and actually since sharing my first video with you, I found um, a brochure from one of my beauty supply stores that gives more details about the entire flaxseed line. And so the intensive conditioning uh, mask is a rinse out deep conditioning treatment with penetrating oils that nourish and repair hair inside and out leaving hair leaves hair softer and strengthened to stronger so I definitely can say it did feel stronger it wasn't just a moisturizing shampoo excuse me a moisturizing conditioner so this is a good conditioner again I wouldn't say it was one of my top favorites but it is a good conditioner within the line after I rinsed out the conditioner I always look for a leave-in one of the products I was going to use that is actually a leave-in, but I chose to use it as a pre-poo or a detangler in the beginning of my wash day process was from the Accor line, and it's the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy. Um, this did not work for me as a detangling pre-poo. I got a better effect from just a cheap heat conditioner, so I would not recommend using this as a detangling pre-poo. And I don't, since I detangle before I sh a cleanse, I don't detangle after I cleanse. So I did not really get to try this as it's directed, you know, after you shampoo. I may at some point, maybe when I use the in control, I'll go back and use this as directed. But I tried it as a pre-poo detangler and it did not work for my hair. So I know not to try that in the future. So in the future... The In Control and the Not On My Watch are two products that I will try to use as directed. A second leave-in is one that I shared in the original video that I did not have at the time of the original video, but I kind of felt that I was going to go back and get it, and I did because I am a product junkie. And that is from the original um, line, and that's the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. And as I, for just as I knew I was going to do it. You knew what I knew. We all knew it. I was going to go get it. And this is the Ultra Hydrating Deep Moisture Therapy for Parched tress Tresses for Natural Curls, Coils, and Ways Enriched with Shea Butter and Olive Oil. This was the light green leave-in that I had mentioned. And I went and purchased it. Um, it's got kind of a fruity, almost a fruity scent. I really do like this one. Um, it's got a, I got a lot of use out of it. I used it after shampooing or after conditioning. I used it under my stylers. I used it, as you can see, I actually did a wash and go. So I used it before I added my gel tonight for this wash and go. And we'll go into more details about that. So this is a really good uh, leave-in conditioner. It's not as creamy as some leave-in conditioners. This is more, you can see it's actually pouring out. So it's kind of a, a more lightweight consistency to it. Unlike some leave-ins that you've got to bang the jar and 
really work to get it out. This has got a more liquidy condition, uh, consistency to it. So this is a really good leave-in as well. And I don't have a tissue. So again, I do recommend the Ad Jackets from the Core line, the Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. Another product I use as a leave-in is from the Flaxseed line, and that is the Half and Half Hydrating Silkening Hair Milk. I use this as a leave-in, and I also use this as a refresher in the mornings after I would dampen my hair with my water aloe vera juice mix, and then sometimes I would dampen it with this before I would, you know, work to refresh my curls. So this is another product that I did like or do like. I'm not crazy, and I've said this about products before, I don't like the misting apparatus. It's considered, it doesn't say it's a mist, so I guess I can't blame it for that. But the stream comes out kind of like a stream. I want a mist. When I spray, I want a mist. So I'm going to look to see if I can find another for maybe an older bottle. Something that has more of a mist, because this comes out as a stream of product, which I don't like. So that would be my one suggestion to Aunt Jackie, is to change the pump to a mist. But the product itself is good. On to, there was a product when I purchased it, and even I said so in my video, I wasn't quite sure how to use it or what it was. It's the Seal It Up Hydrating Sealing Butter. And surprisingly, I got a lot of use out of this. I used it as a combination moisture um, and sealant. So like I said, I use the LOC method. So sometimes I would use this actually as the L and the O in one product. So I would um, dampen my hair and then I would use this as an additional moisturizer and then as a sealant and I would put the cream on top of this one product. So, and I did like it. My hair pretty much throughout the month stayed moisturized and soft. And there were times I would touch it late in the day and I was surprised how soft my hair still was and moisturized and it just felt good and I could feel, I don't want, my hair didn't feel greasy but I could feel the moisture and I could feel the butters in my hair late in the day. So I really did like that. And I also, there were times I mentioned the flaxseed recipe. I like the scent of it. And there was a couple of days I didn't even wear fragrance because I liked. It was on the day, you know, like the night before I washed, the night after I washed my hair, I could still smell the product. And I just liked the way the product smelled, so I didn't wear fragrance that day because I didn't want to conflict with the scent in my hair. So that's just a little side note. I actually do like this product, and as I said, I use it as a combination liquid and oil in the LOC method. So this is something <clears throat> from the product line. I will most likely repurchase because I did like, I do like it and I like the way it treated, it worked with my hair. Now, there were three stylers in the Aunt Jackie's line, <clears throat> excuse me, and the first styler I bought from her line long before the um, flaxseed line came out, and actually the first product from Aunt Jackie's line period that I purchased was from the core line and it's the Curl Lala, Curl Lala defining curl custard and I shared with you in my first video that I purchased this as a replacement for the Miss Jessie's curling cream or one of her curling creams because this was less than half the price of a Miss Jessie's product and I used this for a twist out and I liked it and it gave me good definition and good you know shine and all that now that I'm stepping out and doing a wash and go. I want to go back and try this with a wash and go because this is also recommended for wash and go. So I like this for my twist outs, but I want to go back and try it for a wash and go. So I don't know if in December I'm going to just do a miscellaneous month and go back and retry products um, for wash and goes or retry products or rework with products that did work so well with me earlier on, but I will revisit the Curl La La for a wash and go. I mean, I know I like them for a twist out, but I want to try it for a wash and go. I'm excited now because I'm getting the wash and goes to do like I want them to do. So I want to go back and visit some other products in my stash that um, are more touted towards wash and go. So this is one of those products that I will be revisiting. 
Um, the next styler in the Aunt Jackie's line that I use, and this is from the flaxseed um, recipe, is the Curl Maintenance Anti-Poof Defining, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, Curl Whip. This product surprised me. Normally when you look for slip, you look for it in your shampoo, you look for it in your deep conditioner, you look for it in your leave-in. When I applied this to my the hair, when I was twisting it in a twist out, I got crazy slip. And I'm not used to getting, I don't recall, I'm thinking back to all my other products, I don't recall ever getting slip from a styler. I mean, it, they softened my hair, they moisturized my hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one gave me conditioner-like slip. And this is a curl cream. So I was loving this product. Every time I used it, I loved this product and I loved the definition. It gave me good shine. It gave me good definition. This one is a product I will also repurchase because, I mean, I've still got a lot, you know, a lot of it. But once I use this up, this will be in my stash because I just, the slip, just the slipper. The first time I put it on, I actually went back and looked at the jar. I'm like, did I pick up the conditioner? This, <laughs> that, it actually surprised me. And it's got, it's enriched with flaxseed, argon, shea butter, mango butter, smooth defines, dries, smooth and defines dry, frizzy hair. There's no mention of slipping hair, but it says help to main, help to tame unruly mane, softens, shines, long lasting definitions, definition, I'll agree with all of that. But what amazed me the most was the slip that I got using this product. I was able, you know, I already, I had already detangled my hair before I shampoo or co-wash. So my hair is already tangled. But, you know, your hair tends to sometimes get retangled or get little tangles. But when I applied this styling cream, my hair, it, my fingers were just gliding through my hair. So this is a yes, and this will be a repurchase. And so this is the Curl Maintenance Curl Defining Whip. And I do really like this product. Now, as I said, and you can see, and I've talked about it before, that I've wanted to do a wash and go, but they just weren't coming and they weren't working for me. Tonight, when I was doing my hair and my curls were popping from just the shampoo and the conditioners and the leave-ins, I said, okay, we're going to we're gonna go for it. So, I took the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel that don't shrink. And I said, we are going to do a wash and go. So, it was with this don't shrink that I did this wash and go. I first applied, after I conditioned my hair, I re-wet it with a spritz bottle with water and I sectioned it and I applied the quench moisture intensive leave-in conditioner by sections and then I applied the don't shrink elongating um, curling gel to each section and I after watching so many videos I remember they were saying you know make sure you get your roots so I got my roots and I uh, did sections and I shake shook it and I, well, I guess they call it shingling and so I was doing sections and so <clears throat> I'm not too disappointed. I mean, you can see the curls. Uh, you can see the curls that I obtained using just the quench and the don't shrink. I've still got to diffuse it. It's still about, I'd say about 70% 70, 70 uh, wet. So I've still got to diffuse it. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video recorded before it got too late. So this is the first product that I really did a true wash and go that I'm kind of happy with. So again, I will try more wash and goes. I will go back and revisit some of my other products, <coughs> excuse me, that are designated for wash and goes and give them a try. But for my first in the public, um, and I'm actually going to wear it to work like this tomorrow, wash and go, I'm kind of happy with it. I'm, I'm kind of pleased. I'm even thinking Eventually, I want to get a Diva Cut, and I believe there's one salon here in Jacksonville. I need to make sure that the, the 
that does diva cuts so I want I'm even thinking about getting a diva cut I'm kind of proud of myself <laughs> um on to the other two products that I have from the Aunt Jackie's line. <clears throat> also, before I did today's wash day, I did a hot oil treatment. Normally, I detangle with, as I've said, with a cheapy conditioner. But today, I decided to do a hot oil treatment prior to my wash day. So, I use the Aunt Jackie's Soft All Over Multi-Purpose Oil. I set it in a glass of boiling water, get, let it get warm. Then I sectioned my hair and I applied it to the hair, my hair and let it sit for about half an hour while I was doing other chores around the house. So, and I was worried because normally, as I said, I detangle with a cheapy conditioner <clears throat> and I did not detangle before I did this. So I sectioned the hair. I didn't mist it with my water aloe vera juice, which normally also detangles my hair. So I just went straight on dry hair, this soft all over multi-purpose oil and I was able to not as well as I do with the cheapy conditioner but I was able to finger detangle <clears throat> excuse me, let me get a, excuse me I was able to get a fairly good detangling done using my fingers and this soft all over multi-purpose oil and just a side note for my nail divas because of the flaxseed, coconut, jojoba, shea butter, grapeseed, and ginseng, my cuticles got a really good treatment while um, doing the oil, hot oil treatment. So, as I always say, moisturize those cuticles. So, this is a good product for hot oil treatment. I prefer using the cheap, I prefer the speed, the moisture, and the detangling that I get with my cheapy conditioner. But this, every so often, is also a good product or a good treatment for my hair. So I will continue to use this. Every maybe every maybe I'll alternate one wash session. Use the cheapy one wash session. One wash session. I'll do a hot oil treatment. So this is also a good product, and I'm glad I gave it a try. The last product that I'm going to share with you, if you remember back to the video when I identified the brand for October, I had mentioned that I purchased seven of the eight products from the flaxseed oil or flaxseed recipes line that, that I had not purchased the edge control but being the product junkie that I am I did go back and get the flaxseed recipes tame my edges smoothing gel because over the past few months I have been giving edge control products you know more more chances I have been trying them so I wanted to, you know, I'd already had seven of the eight, so I might as well go get this one, to, you know, give this one a try. Now this is a very thick edge control. I mean, it's thick. It's probably one of the thickest that I've tried thus far. Um, I'm, when I first tried it, I was almost concerned because it was so thick. It's almost like, I'm not saying it's the consistency of, consistency of, but you know how with coconut oil, or coconut, coconut oil, if it's cooler, it's solid. So but once you start rubbing it in your hands, it's, it liquefies. This, I don't want to say it liquefies, but it just gets softer the more I play with it. So it just becomes more pliable and easier to apply to my edges. Because straight out of the container, I don't want to say cold, but straight out of the container, it's very thick and it had me concerned. But flaxseed is supposed to be good for your hair, and this is one of those edge controls that is actually supposed to be good for your hair and help improve your hair. It smooths edges and hair and reduces breakage. So it also contains argan oil and grapeseed oil. So I will give this, I have been using it, I've been using it whenever I use a edge control product throughout the month I've been using this from the collection to stay consistent with my series. So I'll continue to use this one and I'll give it a try. Um, but again, you just have to work with it to make it more pliable. Because it's very thick and stiff so but it keeps my edges when I use it it keeps my edges down I use it on a I use I've used it when I do a puff and it keeps my edges you know laid if you will so this is a good product I've not really found an edge control well maybe one I won't say none but most edge controls work for my hair so this is another one that works for my hair so those are all of the Aunt Jackie's products. 
that I've used throughout the month of October. I'm happy with my wash and go. I just need to get some length to it. Um, I think back, it's been all, it'll be two years, the end of December that I big chopped, so I think I'm doing pretty good. I've already recorded the video that will identify my brand for November, so I will get that posted up um, shortly. If you've used the Aunt Jackie's line, either the Core line or the Flaxseed Recipe line, comment below and let me know your thoughts on the products. Again, this is a product brand I'm glad I tried. I mean, I already had the Core line, well, the majority of the Core line in my stash, but I was really excited to try the Flaxseed line, and I'm glad I did, and I really do like the line. And um, there are several products Maybe not the entire line that I'll repurchase, but there are several products that will um, be repurchases, especially the whip, the curl, the fine and curl whip. This, this is a yes. I definitely did like this product. And surprisingly, although I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it when I first got it, the Seal It Up um, Hydrating Sealing Butter is another product that I will purchase again because I do like this product. Again, the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed line, if I had to choose you know, the core line over the flaxseed line, granted the flaxseed line ha offers more products, um, but the flaxseed line, one, I, the scent, you know, me and my scents, I love the scent, I love the quality of the products, I love how the products work on my hair, I love that they're affordable, they're, you know, readily available, don't have to order them online. Um, if you've not tried Aunt Jackie's, I would definitely say give Aunt Jackie's a, uh, a try. You don't see her on, I mean, you see her on Instagram, you see her on social media, media, but you don't see this line as much as some of the other product brands. But I would definitely say give Aunt Jackie's a try. You won't be disappointed. Again, take a look for my next, for my brand for November. As I said, it's already recorded and ready to be posted. Grace, peace, joy, and blessings. Bye.